Guangdong province in southern China is often called the world's factory. And there's never been a production line quite like this one. As with so much else in today's China, it's on a vast scale. A football academy with 50 playing fields with plans for 30 more. Mizalan Wuzeman hopes that he can one day help China achieve World Cup glory. Out of the school's 2,300 students, this 11-year-old boy is considered to be one of the rising stars. Right now, China's football level is very low, but I hope after one or two decades, China can catch up. Despite football being the most popular sport in China, it has only ever qualified for one World Cup. That was 12 years ago. Today, its national side is ranked 103rd in the world. This academy, though, has an ambitious goal that could help to change all of that. It's a plan that relies on players like Mizalan. He's an ethnic Muslim Uyghur from the province of Xinjiang. His parents are able to afford the school fees of almost $6,000 a year, a fortune in China. Those from poorer families, around a third of the students, receive scholarships. Most of the children see their families only a few times a year. I saw my parents in April this year. My father came and left. I see my parents once every three months. Although there's an emphasis on traditional education, watching football is part of the curriculum. Although not everyone gets excited. Still, competition for places is fierce. 50,000 applied last year, just 800 were accepted. The goal of this academy is to make football stars. China's football level is low and we want to make Chinese football better. The academy is owned by China's third richest property developer, now using his vast wealth to help the country achieve success in the one sport that has so far eluded it. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, in Guangdong province, southern China.